Good morning, Palm Springs, live from the 420 Bank Dispensary in downtown Palm Springs. I'd like to congratulate Nolan Moore and Julie Montante for designing this, or redesigning this former bank into a world-class marijuana dispensary that helps so many people out. From medicinal purposes to just getting high, they offer it all under one roof, and it's a lounge you can hang out in a true destination place in Palm Springs. I can't tell you how wonderful it is inside. And by the way, thank you for watching my channel. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Please uh, share it with your friends as we take a look at true destination spots in Palm Springs and the Coachella Valley. Say hello to Julie Montante. Yes. The uh, owner of this gorgeous 420 uh, bank dispensary. And lounge. Lounge. Congratulations. Thank you. And Julie, um, I want to say this is an amazing spot. You've been in the business a long time. I mean, how did you even get started in that? Well, you know, I, I got started in it because my mother had developed cancer about 70 some odd years ago. Wow. And when she was 43. And, be, and I tried to find a cure. Uh -huh. And we went, you know, all the different routes, acupuncture, we went through chemo, radiation, and found, after she got done with her, her chemo, her doctor gave me the, these little green pills. And the little green pills happened to be marijuana. <laughs> it's amazing. So my girlfriend was a grower, and we decided to start pumping her with um, marijuana. Mm -hmm. And basically, she lasted and lived until 73. Okay. In remission, three times. But it really helped. Really helped her. Helped her with the nauseousness. It helped mm -hmm. her with healing. It helped her with feeling good. Um, it just started curing the illness, you yeah. know, of, of what the after effects of radiation does to you in chemo. I know. It's amazing. Marijuana's got so many uses. I think Julie's on the forefront, actually, of using marijuana for not just getting stoned, but for medicinal purposes. I think you saw that early on. And I think you've had. P.S. Organica, was that your, you and your brother? Um, I had Desert Care Solutions out in Thousand Palms way illegally back. way back way when, back when? Like okay. 40 years ago. Wow. Yeah. And I've been in the business for about 42 years. Yeah. So I have to tell you that I found it, I, I don't even smoke marijuana myself, basically, mm -hmm. but um, illnesses, I've helped you know, HIV patients, cancer patients. I work with Joe Rosen for the uh, Parkinson Center. Mm -hmm. um, DAP, we work with some of the patients there. That's what all these bracelets are about. People that I helped either in, go into remission or help them, I basically, they gave me a little gift, so I wear them all. That's awesome, Julie. That's right. You, you wear what she preaches. Yes, I do. And this, you know, this location, it was, it was a bank, it was empty for a few years. And I think 23 years. 23 years, and it took two years to... It took about a year and a half to go through city and upgrade it, and uh, my partner, Nolan Moore, who owns the building, basically refinanced everything in the building and brought it up to code. Up to code, within the, the ventilation system. Everything, and yeah. then unfortunately we had COVID, so we weren't in a rush to open. Right. So our first opening date was April, 30 days ago, actually. I know, congratulations. I went Thank to the you. opening. It was fabulous. And I love the chandeliers and watching the space you made. It seems like you really want people just to hang out here. It's not just buying weed and leaving. Well, you know, I, may, I wanted to elevate the cannabis industry. And I wanted a place where people could enjoy music, where they can enjoy each other, if they wanted to shoot pool, if they wanted to sit down and talk, play chess. We made it an environment unlike anything else because I just feel that when pe people have stories mm -hmm. and they want to share their stories. Right. And it's not about getting stoned, it's about helping each other in their medical illnesses. And a lot of people come in here and share their stories. You check in over to the right. And then you come in through here. And this is our dispensary and lounge on the side. But if you just sit and smoke, right? Right. No, nope. <laughs> nope. So in here is our game room. How cool is this? Called the Game Bowl. And we have so a, 
We have lots of arcades and games. We even have more coming. This was an actual bank, right? Yes, so this was the actual real vault. So these are like real vaults? Yes. Oh my god. That's real, amazing. everything locks from here. <laughs> I would not tend to rob. So you can. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. This is game room. The actual vault. Oh, it's pretty solid. Yes. In fact, between these bricks came from North Carolina, or driven here. I got it from the son of the man who built this building. So I thought it was interesting. So cool. then, the lounge area. All the here is where medication. Uh -huh. And then over here we have our glass area and our gab bar. Oh, what's this gab bar? What's this? A gab bar is concentrates that people are able to gab if they choose to. It's a little stronger than cannabis, but for more effect of and more of an effect. They like to do something, it's their yeah. hobby. Right, right. Have our glass. Lots of your bombs to smoke. And you guys always got Lots. Lots. So then again, we still have more games. So you guys, we, so we, we, we designed this whole thing, right? Right. Like an architect too. Right, yeah. We had to put down two new bathrooms, one on each side, man and woman. Yeah, yeah. That's a local artist who did all my paintings for me. We have again more games. Yeah. And we have actually where they're setting up right now for um, music tonight, Keisha D's. What time they start? Seven o'clock. Okay, great. And then over here we have pool. Love it. So again, just creating a nice relaxed. Yeah, just a nice relaxed atmosphere. Yeah. We have wines that are non-alcoholic with THC. We have um, all kinds of CBD waters. We carry the full spectrum and wine of CBD, CBGN, all of them. Mm -hmm. So I, all I can say is. If I don't have it, I'll get it. Because <laughs> I carry over 300 or 400 products. It's amazing. Yeah, you can find what you're looking for down here. It's amazing. I went to the opening. It was like packed. And then you guys have concerts and stuff like that. Yeah, that's great. And look at Mike. My friend Michael played recently here. Right. We, on the weekends, we are trying to get people to come in and just relax. After a long weekend, instead of going out and drinking or going out, they can come in. And tonight we have Keisha Dees, uh has a star on the hall, out on the screen. Wow, that's great. And uh, we have all kinds of entertainment on Tuesday nights. We're going to start jazz. Okay, great. Yeah, every Tuesday, yeah. Every Tuesday, that's perfect. I love it. So it's a great space. I mean, they got everything here that you want. Just relax. Um, and then the upstairs is going to be like kind of like a, a little private party um, option or events. Or right, you're going to be able to rent out upstairs. We have a full kitchen that's going in for chefs. Mm -hmm. We have um, a full patio that's going to be open for smoking. That's great. We have rooms to rent and offices to rent as well. Is that big upstairs? Wow. Yes. Yeah. We have 15 rooms upstairs. I guess it was a bank, so. Yeah. Yeah, hence the space. Each CEO had their room. That's yes, great. <laughs> Time frame people can come and yeah. leave here. Whenever you feel like it, that's what it's about. <laughs> then we have, again, people love to play chess. It's actually the young ones that are really enjoying this chess game. And then we have more seating over here. Mm -hmm. Love the colors. Really nice job. Thank design. you. Thank you. Then if you don't want any cannabis items, we have vending machine items. <laughs> yeah, they come from New Orleans. There's a Morsky crystal. And uh, they were shipped here uh, via air through COVID. And then uh, finally, I, I read that you also donate some of the uh, your the money to, ch to charity, which I think is wonderful. I, right, we work with all the Palm Springs charities. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, Desert AIDS, Well of the Desert, you know, anything and anyone that comes to us, Gay Man's uh, Guide. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm on two of the boards for the city. Yeah. So I find out what's going on, and if we can support them in any way at mm -hmm. all, we will. Jeff Hopper Productions, he works a lot, putting on a lot of events, mm -hmm. and we help him as well. That's great. And then no problem getting the marijuana. You have sources. I mean, there's oh, yeah. so many shops here. It's amazing, but this really stands out. Thank you, you know, very much. So there's competition, but really no one has a unique space like this. Well, it's the biggest of its kind. In fact, we're hoping to get into the book of uh, World Book of Guinness. Oh, really? Really? Is it? It's called Guinness. Guinness. Yes. Really? Yeah. Might be the biggest one. Yeah. 
That's awesome. Oh yep. my God. For Southern California. So we'll wow. see. Well, Julie, I want to say congratulations. Thank I'm so you. psyched. I can just come down here anytime I want. Absolutely. And uh, congratulations again. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Well, I need until I think, until so I this is a fabulous CBD cream. Mm -hmm. What's the milligram on it? Uh, 1,000. 1,000. I don't have my glasses. So it's 1,000 milligram. Huh? And I want you gentlemen to try it because if you have aches and pains, this is amazing. Okay. It, it dissolves the pain right away. You can't really? even feel it. Yep. I'll definitely try it. So try give them a little this. sample. Let me see the product. CBD cream. Yep. Just and put it on any, like, any, any, any parts of sore. Yeah. Okay. They also have it for pets. Because a huge amount of pets are getting cancer now. Wow, so never that's so before. cool. And we've been trying for a long time to get it right. Uh, My mother, who's from Sicily, who's a 90 or 90 now, she was our guinea pig for years. I hate it. It's too small. It's too smelly. It's too... This one she goes, so I said, what do you think of this one? She said, send me another one. <laughs> that was nice. Still never got a count. It smells like... Spa, uh, eucalyptus? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's got all kinds of essential. No THC, but this is a fabulous CBD cream. Wow. And it takes away pain just like that. Everyone that's gone to New Orleans, they talk about the entertainment, the music, the soul. Well, Palm Springs needs that. So I agree. It does. Uh, yeah. Live music is so important. We're right where we're, we're near uh, LA, and, and uh, there's so many artists in this desert. There's nowhere to play. So, so true. We have to, uh, you know, and I come from a history of entertainment, so, you know, I, I kept saying we just need a big stage, we just need a big stage, a big venue, so here it is.